What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Nick here and I am bringing you a match from ESCA Open, just recently played in the last week uh, between the team Server Depopulation Squad and Disposable Heroes. And we will be going with rosters with them really quickly, but not before we see Shu actually jumping very quickly in the middle. Uh, takes the Demoman's health pad, which is a strategy I've been seeing some teams run, um, especially last season on the V6 version of this map that some rumors would actually go and to take that down with health pack very quickly. As you see Shu here, uh, getting, trying to get some nice damage in here. Not being able to do too much as players are going out for Server Depop Squad and... Yep, it looks like Disposal Heroes may be able to win this middle if they just can keep this up. Lambert kind of caught it between them and he'll be taken out by Dumbrain and this will leave London Calling all on his own. More than likely going to die here or no, he will actually get out very safely with that 72% charge but he has to expect that scout to probably come in on them. As we have this small time to talk, let's go over the rosters really quickly. We have London Calling on the medic. Uh, this is for Severed Depopulation Squad. Mona calling on the medic. Haruki on scout. Shoot 157 the on the soldier. Uh, Ricky also on the soldier. I believe Ricky's pocket. Lambert on scout and a Zomniac on the demo man. Uh, for disposable heroes, we have Che on medic. Dumbre on scout. Pharaoh on demo. Smooth and Hypnotoad on the soldiers and also Sesco on scout. Ubers popped though. I didn't miss that part. Uh, Ubers were popped. Che did go down on there. So that's actually going to give Severed Depopulation Squad a big advantage over. Uh, disposable heroes currently as they'll more than likely be pushing on the middle quickly. Hinato is staying in very deeply though, not entirely sure why he's going to be staying in, but yeah. This should be an easy recap for Seventy Population Squad, and what is actually bad is Disposable Heroes. They did get a forward spawn because they did have middle cap, so that would lead uh, them to get the forward spawns at Dumbrain. He attempted to go for the bad cap, did not work, but he still gets a frag off of it, so his team's giving us some slight advantage if they don't notice Dumbrain will come in, so we're gonna watch him real quickly. So we get on to one of the scouts right now. Yep, the number will take out one, and I'll be very successful playing. He's looking to go on another one as well to save his medic, and he will. Very good play by the Disposable Heroes. Um, so some history about this team, while well, we also see Super Deep Pop get pushed out. Uh, this is Super Deep Population Squad's first season in uh, ESCA as a team, but I believe most of these players have played in the past as well. Um, Disposable Heroes, this is their second season in the SCA, but this is practically a completely new team with the exception of Smooth 3. Just going again, and Severity Population Squad will put their Uber into the Spire currently. As we see Sesko actually going behind, and it will get taken out, so no work will be done by him. And shooting with the 7, getting the jump in there. Putting some pressure on that soldier, very good pressure. Also getting help from the scout. Dumb range is going pretty big here, and Che will actually get taken out, so London Calling will be given a very nice advantage, and this should be probably an easy cap as well on middle for Server Population Squad. They can get their ASAP. I think the reason why they didn't get it as quickly uh, last time, because they did, took, they did take way too much time to actually go in and to cap middle, which is something you can do. You always need to, when you have the advantage in your head, you need to actually get onto that. We see Smooth coming in for the jump. Whoa, we'll get air shot. Good shot by Ricky there. And he will actually end up taking out Lemon Collie. Ricky not able to go big enough. But shoot 157, he's looking to return some firing power. Taking out, hitting the toad. But Pharaoh with a nice play. And Che also getting out very safely here. And it looks like disposable here is they probably won't cap middle right quickly. Yep, they're just going to keep it on the back side. That's just about it for them. But they will be able actually not to recap this. This Omni going to go in and put some damage in. He didn't see the Seekers on the right. Uh, I'm not sure why they really weren't popped. Could have done some damage to him. But at least they take off that overheal. At best. Just looking at the demo be demo fight. Right there. Now Zomniac actually going to be able to take out Shay. Very nice pick by him. And we're going to see how the depopulation swap. Oh, Shay able to move in on this one. Uh, Uber, I'm calling at a 60% currently. Che is still down, so London will probably be at around 75 by the time Che does get up. I mean, Shoot 157 actually ended up going right behind them. And now it's a whole depopulation squad group moving as a whole. So they're just gonna hold out on last and 
Usually on last on this map, I don't know, I really do like uh, last on this one because of how large it is. And it isn't that difficult really to push, you know, it just takes a lot more strategy compared to other maps. And the amount of off-classing is a lot of fun, like we see here from Dumbrain, we're going to take the role of the Heavy here. Which is more like a common thing, actually able to stop that Uber for a little bit, but he'll get focused on immediately. That's something that you have to expect if you're playing Heavy, is that you are going to get taken out ASAP. And I don't even think he had an overkill at that. He may have did, but probably not much. Yeah, the Explosive Hero is looking to actually... Ooh, they almost were able to stop the cap right there. Chain up able to spread the heroes as well enough, so that will actually be one oh right now for the depopulation squad. We have a London Colin here. Moving in, uh so yeah, explaining earlier, disposable heroes, I don't think I said it through all the way. Second season here, pretty much went through a whole roster change from what I could see, with the exception of Smooth 3, who was there last season with them. Both teams actually doing very good, both are high open teams as of right now. Oh, the soldier getting launched up in there from the default. And Monday Colin will drop very, very early to Smooth. And yeah, it just looks like we have the Depop squad. They're just going to get wiped here, but it's a 3v3 situation. Pharaoh here going to go for real big, getting two frags right there. Ooh, hoping to get one more, and Lambert will get on top, but Dumbrain still going to be in this 1v1 situation with him. He just needs to try to get the pistol on him, or at least try to reload that scattergun, uh, and Lambert will get that frag easily enough, going to probably win that middle for his team. He won't get anyone with him right now, and probably in about 5 seconds, yep, here's his medic. So yeah, uh, advantages, Che does have a slight one over uh, calling, but, you know, 20%, well, I may not see as much, it kind of is a big amount, uh, believe it or not, because they can actually push in in time and kill London if they coordinate themselves well enough, because right now he is actually having a 30% with building with the scout currently. No unusual classes currently going on right now, so looks like everything will be equal as it is. And Somniac with the Kind of an odd trap, thinking that they actually are going to push in. That is actually very smart now that I think about it. Because uh, he probably will expect a push from them, if they will at all. And yeah, I'm trying to see the stickies up on the wall. And there's two people from Depop Squad inside their sewers currently. One of their soldiers and Haruki. As you can see, that soldier can actually get any damage he wants, so we're just going to back it out slightly. And now it's just pretty much a big stalemate. This is something that you'll find a lot on this map. Um, it's just how stalemate you can get, and how pushes are almost unexistent on this one, just because of the uh, uh, how far everything is, or how hard it is also to push into some certain areas. Like, it is kind of difficult to take the spire if you don't have an advantage going in, but Depop Squad Boy, if you're able to push in immediately, actually taking out two players right now. You see Rickett up here taking the Uber. Both Ubers pop by both teams. Chase just ran out and he will actually escape, but he's gonna get caught out here and die. Did the, you know, kind of like himself. And it looks like this round will probably go to Depop Squad. Scott's bringing on Rickett right now. He's just trying to get some damage off. Gets uh, one frag on Smooth and Haruki will take care of Slicego. As that is now a 2 0 lead right now for the depopulation squad. They are playing rounds very well so far. Um, really not too much mistakes. No, no, no. We're going to take a look at the demon rollout from Pharaoh here. We'll see if uh, disposable heroes are able to recover their cells and actually come back into this one. Yep, a very nice rollout from Pharaoh very quickly here in the middle. Able to dodge that sticky. Can give himself cover right now. Dumbman here on these kind of maps are usually very devastating because you want to try to get as much damage as you can, but the soldiers can be an annoyance. But Feral saying, no, it isn't to shoot 157. London Calling also going down as well in the middle. And this will be a very, very big advantage for disposable heroes. This was the kind of thing that they needed in order to come back in this one. Sesco sees the scout inside the sewers right now. Looks like that was Lambert, and he will get out more than likely as the scouts go and cap. So Che with this full Uber now. He needs to watch for someone to force. It's usually in these kinds of situations where you're gonna want to see someone to try to come in on you because someone will. And someone is bad capping at middle right now. Hope they were able to get him. Probably was Lambert and he will get taken out. And yep, so we are just gonna hold up onto the spire and Insomniac able to take out Hypnotoad with that trap. Not, be, not able to react to that quick enough. 
And uh, Uber is popped in. Shade did take some damage. That's going to be pop in his demo, man. And here, and there is a heavy for so the pop squad. And London Calling does not get taken out yet. Uh, he is very hurt, though. He is at 49 HP right now, and Shade does go down. But cap time was put on, though. And Pharaoh actually taking out three people, four people. Pharaoh going big on that last, but it just looked like they could not do it. He just ended up destroying four people from there. That is insane. It's, it's all these situations like that that you love to see, and that's the reason why I love watching Devilman in 6v6 play, and just 6v6 in general, just because of plays like that being able to be made so well, and just clutch plays like that are so exciting to see. I'm gonna watch Dumbrain's roll out here. Seems to be lagging kind of slightly. I did read the chat a little earlier, and uh, there was some complaints about the server being kind of laggy today, but London Calling going down once again at middle. Chase also very hurt as well at that 50% Uber. And Haruki and Insomniac both at 12 now. It's Haruki on his own, and he best just try to get out or maybe go into for that medic. There is three down, yeah, but he, they know that he's in there. They can't fool him. And that will be a, a very nice cap for disposable heroes again as they actually play that middle out very well, taking out Lenny Calling for two rounds in a row uh, at middle, and Che staying alive. Well, and Che is getting pressure by the scout here, and he will get taken out, doing some very, very slight damage to him. And there is a sniper in Lambert right now. Let's so we'll see how the Lambert sniper is. Kind of slightly missing that shot on the soldier jumping at him. Hit up in the scouts looking to come in. Oh, he actually won't be able to take him out. Actually, didn't hit him with the meat shot coming through. Oh, and then Smooth will come in. And London Calling is very hurt right now. And if you kept that. Whoa. <laughs> What's up? I think that that will be the cap disposable heroes win. Let's just roll out here again. We're going to see how London Calling will play this middle out once again. Because they know that after these two straight rounds of uh, him dying at the middle, this is going to be something kind of big for him. Uh, so that they probably do want to play a more passive based one. As players are going down on both sides of the ball, Demon is slightly hurt, and it's just going to take way too much damage, and he's going to go down. It looks like London Calling may just go down once more. He is the only one alive, and needs to actually play this kind of smartly. They are going to go look for him right now. Yep, swords out, and looks like uh, lots of shots being missed, and a shotgun shot by Hypnotoad will take out Calling once again. He's at like 21 second uh, respawn time, so... That will be a very, very big advantage, advantage for Che. Uh, so calling third straight round, he went down at the mid fight. I guess you can call that mid fight. Not as early, but yeah, they just didn't play as well as they needed to. And as the Uber gets popped in immediately by Che, no heals currently for, for the Serenity Pop squad. And it will get some if we get an overall by Pharaoh. As he'll be actually able to get down. And it's Omniac going to try to save this point as long as he can. Just one scout's up, and he will go down. That is a wipe. Oh, man. And that's just the things that you hate seeing, though, is just when you have a big advantage, as you do, and then you're not able to go cap last when it did seem like a clear advantage for you to get it. It is really heartbreaking. As server to population scar will cap Spire. It wasn't all in fair, and it wasn't like a sinful kind of thing, though, if that's the word I want to say. Because Linda Calling did go down at last as well as Chase, so their Ubers are virtually the same currently. Cisco is just going to go ahead and build for his medic. Currently, that's always what you want to do as a scout, build for that medic when you can, because you want the soldiers to save their ammo, because even though they have 24 rockets to use, it isn't as much as you would think, especially for a roamer. But you know, even though the roamer shouldn't be building as a soldier, you still know how that story works. So heal spreads are kind of iffy right now. On for disposable heroes, probably because it was building with one person, so. But yeah, you always want to try to make sure that you can get your teammates buffed, at least when you're going to go build. Just in case someone wants to come out and do something. So both teams are going to have Ubers, and we're going to see Himoto going with this team here. Try and make a play. Currently, Scout looks to be hurt up there in Battlements. Yeah, the whole team just looks like they'd be standing there on Spire. Early pop for the smoke of heroes, so some of the population squad is going to get the better leader out of this, and the demo's going to get split up. Lenny Kong won't be able to get to him just in time. As Shoot's actually going to come in kind of late here. 
Ooh, misses the airsaw on the medic, but he will go crater. As Lambert gets actually two picks with the big sniper play. Alert. Too. Our control point is being captured. Taking out Ricky last with that nice pick. And a big op to use as well. So yep, Che did go down in that exchange. And just looks like that the Depop squad are going to go ahead and push in. And now as we as they can, hopefully. Lambert just trying to see for himself for a pick right now. Not able to hit too much, as he does actually air headshot that soldier and he saw that with that air sticky as well. Very good teamwork. That crit headshot did stop him in his place. Uh, he could barely move, making that air sticky a lot easier than he wanted it to be. <laughs> a perfect form. Let's take a look at the last. Now we have Sesco actually looking to go counter snipe big Lambert here. Oh, he does get a headshot on that soldier. Very nice shot right there, but it looks like he will get out just in time. He's going to switch back to Scout. Right now, Uber's pop. Let's over the population squad. They actually, were able to get three picks out of it, including Che when he almost had his Uber. And now they're just trying to get onto that plane right now. So let's go doing what he can, but that won't be enough as the the population squad will get their third round, and that will be the first half of play. Actually, a very, very good half um, at that really equal I would say you know there were mistakes by both teams uh, some of which you know could have been better but or could have been just ran in a different way than it did but still both teams did play a very nice half uh, this video will skip to move towards the second half so we'll see you all then and welcome back this is the second half now uh, score 3-2 right now in favor of the depopulation squad here we're gonna look at big hidden toads roll out here. Uh, you have three two. Currently, very very equal match as I said earlier. Uh, you know, again, both teams with their mistakes, but hopefully they are going to think about the mistakes that they did, and hopefully not make the same mistakes twice throughout, or just more multiple times as we've been seeing. Uh, he was also playing really aggressive on this, so it just looks like the population squad played really close to them. And Sesco actually getting two big picks, the Demon and the Medic. Sesco actually with the 3k at middle. Doing very good there, and still stayed alive through all of that. And one more scout going to come in and make that official 4k at middle. Very, very good. I think we, I think that's kind of a thing that Disposable Heroes has for this game, just getting the 4ks. Farrah got one at last, and Sesco one at middle. Very, very well played by them. Uh, as we did say, London Calling did go down in the middle first one. Well, was Sesco's victims after we're going to see a push going. So let's actually look at the demo. Because he will more than likely be taking this Uber and Sticky's Pop. They need to push with this Uber quickly. They can't let London Calling build that Uber. That's something that they do not want to do. There is a heavy for the depopulation squad and Uber popped right now. Uh, it looked like a miscommunication shake kind of went out kind of far. Uh, not sure if that was actually part of the plane or not. Ricky kind of getting split. Bear actually playing up on the catwalk currently. That's actually a very smart thing to do. He's able to do the damage from above while making those soldiers work with the rockets. Have to make them chase them. Or to actually, you know, take some time to aim. Bear with a nice pipe spear. It just looks like uh, the Tavis and Squad wants to try to defend it. It's one on one here. Oh, who's going to win this one? Oh, a dump tray. Will take that out, wins that 1v1 situation against Haruki. Haruki was at 30 or so HP compared to Dumbrain's 62, but still a very well played 1v1 right there. That would take him out easily enough. Smooth looks to be slightly slow to middle. Hmm, never mind. Yep, just came just in time with this team. Insomniac though, at 17 HP already, looks to probably took a sticky really early. And a very, very direct stick right here. Smooth actually going to be able to jump in right now. And yeah, we'll get taken out with no luck there. Serve the population squad now, though. Taking out three people there. His on toad playing really aggressive right now. London calling really, really hurt. Che did go down earlier in this fight. And only one scout is up. That is Dumbrain. And he's going to get chased. Ooh, he's got that 15 HP. Lambert trying to get the swing off. But just hit himself like an idiot, as the item states. So, yep, big advantage right now. Linda Calling, uh, they're probably going to be able to cap this. They didn't see Pharaoh put that sticky trap there, so we're going to see what's going to happen. They might suspect something since he didn't get out just in time. And 
Yep, looks like they probably did find that sticky trap. Has no dice out in there. Or probably popped it way too late. They need to push in very quickly, though, as we said earlier. And we do have Sesco actually on the engineer. Now, this is something that we didn't see yet in this match, but engineer on this map is actually very good. Um, I wouldn't do it in this situation, though. But it is nice on this map if you can get it set up in time. And the sentry spot is called out, so you might actually want to move it. Nope, he won't have time to move it as the Uber will get popped in here. We're going to see this heavy play here from Dumbrain. We're going to see if he's going to make any magic at all. Pharaoh just clearing them all off the point right now. Very good along with Dumbrain just putting some damage in. Oh, and Zomniac getting launched, but we'll be able to get in there in time. And the calling just going in there, getting the nice damage onto Sesco along with Ricky's final shotgun play to make this a believe a 3-4-3 match? Yep, 4-3 match. The Population Squad, they only need one more round in this one to just win this. And Soldier Heroes do need two rounds. But we have seen comebacks before, so let's we'll see if one will actually happen here today. Sitting up to we're gonna see him again. He's gonna get the jump off and the damage already getting taken out here. Both soldiers down on both teams, I believe, already. So actually Delman on Soldier of Heroes down. London calling getting taken out as well. Che here to help out, and that is practically a wipe for uh so the pop squad. Not entirely yet, now it is. Very big. We're going to take a look at Ricky here, see how he's going to actually prepare for this one. He might want to sneak on this one. I don't know. Pocket playing the Romer kind of style. We'll see what he does. He's going to stand up on that wall, see if he can maybe pick someone off coming through a computer room. I know he needs to play this out very, very quickly. He wants to make something happen. Does get the call out the soldiers there. He's going to jump. Finds the medic there. Oh, medic's going to be really hurt. But Che will get out with that 30 HP, hopefully got out and did not die. Yep, he was still kept that HP and that Uber. And I believe he had the Uber on that jump too, so good job to him for holding that Uber and not popping it. There, oh, Pharaoh can't be launched by that. We'll to kill him though, that 260 HP. Too buffed on that, but I think we saw three stickies there, so that's usually weird. Disposable Heroes popping that Uber. Lambert getting a quick pick on Smooth though, so that's going to be a player down for Disposable Heroes as they try to push in here. Oh man, players just going down left and right here. A five, a four v two situation right now. Chase really hurt. Chase will go down, and that is a wipe for the depopulation squad. Lambert on that sniper once again was able to get that pick early on smooth three, as stated earlier, um, to kind of stop the amount of damage that would have been done. So very nice pick by him as they did move in. And middle will end up being capped. Let me watch Sesco again real quick. He is actually playing a very nice scout this game. Like, all in all, we'll watch it here. Uber advantage is currently equal right now. Uh, calling with a very, very slight one, about 10% on Shea, but that isn't too big of an issue. You see here, you know, again, one of these stalemate situations, no off classes by anyone. Um, I know pugs aren't in real matches, but in most pugs I play, someone may go sniper or spy on this map. You see, if they can get a slight pick on someone, or just a surprise pick, um, and I think that situation would work right now because you haven't really seen anyone off the class unless, you know, they were around the last point. I think for the exclusion of Lambert, like, you went sniper when they were trying to hold Spire, if I'm not mistaken, and then they just all moved in at once. This looks like Server Depop Squad might be itching to push in on this one. Um, yeah, and it looks like they will. Soldier actually jumping up. He will get taken up by a very nice pipe back barrel. And it looks like now that the disposable heroes are gonna have a slight range now. It Haruki did take out smooth in Super's curve, so it is equal once again. But yeah, it's Romer for a Romer. And if you're a new 26v6 play, uh the Romer is as people would say, you know. A, kind of a worthless player. Even though he can go in and get really good med picks that can make him very valuable, he practically just goes in there and dies for the reason to try to pick up key targets such as the medic or even the demo man or even the pocket soldier at that. You know, a pocket soldier is always a very nice pick because that loses the amount of protection that a roamer could do or the demo. So, because the demo can only hold people off for so long. 
fair with a nice sticky trap, taking a hard case to try to check Suri. And yeah, that's a scout down, and this is probably going to move in on that, because the scout can bring in more DPS than that roamer, and yep, they're actually going to go in on this one. Smooth actually getting taken out by Ricky. You can see Sesco pushing with this squad right now. Ooh. And sh yep, everyone pretty much from the default squad. When to get obliterated here, so it is now a horrible situation. Delman getting launched right now. Ooh, let me call him getting caught out on his own right now. Very, very hurt at 50 HP. And looks like he might be able to survive. Is it take a direct rocket? And that fatal word rocket by Ignatza will take him out. Very nice. And Che did go down, so that was a very good pick. As Che will have a slight advantage over him. Probably about a 20% if he spawns up with someone. It looks like he will not spawn up with someone, so. He should have to walk his poor way back. Trying to go for someone. Yep. That's always something that you want. You want to see, you know, if your med does go down, try to get someone back into your spawn so your med can try to build that advantage ASAP. Because now the Uber advantages are equal when it was a 10 second difference. And a lot can happen in those 10 seconds. That Uber, again, like I said, probably would have been at 20 to 25% uh, if someone was able to move back. So we'll see here. Odd trap by Zomiac. Once again, really haven't really. I don't see too many traps like that on this map. You know. I did see a sniper though on Lambert. You know, Lambert is actually. You know, he has been showing up as a sniper on this map, so he may just be able to get a pick onto London more than likely, or maybe a big target. Both teams now with their Uber. It looks like yep, Lambert is spotted. I called it out. That Scotch guy. <laughs> I want to use the term ganked, and I will. He did get ganked from the sewer. And as both Ubers will be popped, disposable heroes, though, with a huge advantage because both scouts did go down. I do call the sniper as the scout since he was off classing, so. Yeah, and more players just going down for the depop squad. Ubers are even, but again, there is no response just as of yet for the depop squad, so disposable heroes could probably work off of this right now. Yup, headshot coming in from Lambert with two picks already. Getting both of the scouts. Yeah, that would be enough though, man. Two very good picks by him. And yeah, it's just all really in the end. Or nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and watch Pharaoh once again. It's a 4 4 match though. Very even. Uh, both teams again playing really well in this game. Uh, not too many sticks this time around. Pharaoh misses that surf. He's going to try to hurt that. Demo does get the nice hit on him. Uh, both demos are pretty much back to their full HP states here. Uh, Soldier actually jumping on that is Ricky, trying to get Pharaoh out of here. And oh, Sesco will take out London Calling once again. Very big picks, and Zomniac though he won't go down until he takes out Shay, which happened here. Harky, the only one alive, takes out him, not so he's gonna go into sewer, but he won't be able to get there just in time. He gets punished by a 23 second respawn time. Grab it, everyone else. Both medics are gonna have virtually equal charges as they do spawn up with someone at the same time. So. Just disposable heroes are trying to play in as fast as they can. As up to them as possible. You know, you wanna bring this aggressive play onto them. Which you can't run with to go down smooth now gonna go in for this one. And can't really do too much. Cisco really here, Cisco does go down though. Up and fade away rocker from smooth or actually take out Insomnia. London Calling did go down to something. <laughs> did not see what actually did get him. But he did go down and disposable heroes practically going to wipe the depopulation squad here. There's only one soldier here to defend last. And he won't be able to do it for long. As disposable heroes will make a big comeback winning this one. 5-4 over the 70 population squad. <laughs> Can't remember that name. A very good match. If you have any questions about this match, about, you know, again, more information on who played on what teams, I will have both of their links in the description below. If you want to see some competitive Team Fortress 2 streams, I'll put this link to Team Fortress TV at the bottom. I also do appreciate feedback, if any, and thank you for watching.